we have uh, already seen that uh, how to draw graph of straight line linear function in x and y uh, has a graph straight line to draw the straight line we require two points on the graph paper and then we join those two points to get a straight line now there is one important aspect of a straight line that is slope of a line slope of a line is sometimes called gradient of line also now let's see uh, how the slope is defined consider one line uh, on graph paper like this now suppose I take point uh, on the line here and draw one horizontal line to some distance then from this point I draw a vertical line to join point uh, Q on the line now suppose this angle is theta then this angle is also theta now this height is actually uh, difference of y coordinate of point Q and R say this difference is delta y in mathematics we express difference by delta the meaning of delta y is difference in y for Q and R point then this PR can be taken as delta x which is difference in value of x for R and P now uh, from this triangle PRQ which is right angle we say tan theta is equal to delta Y upon delta X now this value is called slope of a line now geometrically uh, slope is defined as ratio of uh, rise divided by run between two points P and R it is like when we are moving from uh, uh, point uh, uh, P to Q on horizontal plane we have a movement from P to R and we get the rise from R to Q so slope of the line is defined as rise upon run on the horizontal plane slope is uh, expressed sometimes as a symbol M suppose we uh, take coordinates for uh, P R Q like this now uh, height of Q above X axis is Y2 and that of point R above X axis is X1 in fact coordinates of point uh, R are X2 comma Y1 R takes uh, X coordinate X2 which is that of uh, Q point and Y coordinate Y1 which is that of P point now this height QR from the graph is Y2 minus Y1 and this delta X is X2 minus X1 so slope is Y2 minus Y1 upon X2 minus X1 so if coordinates of points P and Q are given we can find slope by difference of y coordinate upon difference of x coordinate the order of uh, subtraction must be same for y and x like this we can also define the uh, slope of line uh, uh, as tan theta where theta is angle of line with 
positive direction of x axis line makes two angles with x axis one is this angle this side angle is called angle with positive direction of x axis and this angle is called angle with negative direction of x axis for the slope we take the angle of line with positive x axis now slope of line uh, remains constant for selection of any two points suppose we select point uh, p and another point uh, uh, say s on the line now if we consider this triangle p t s now we have here different value of uh, delta y and different value of delta x but the ratio is always 10 theta because triangles PTS and triangle PRQ are similar. So we can say slope of straight line is always constant irrespective of selection of any two points. Now consider three straight lines uh, L1, L2 and L3. Now we get slope of the lines by considering this angle theta for theta 1 for L1 now we can see that uh, here the height is say delta y1 and this width is delta x so we have tan theta 1 is equal to delta y1 upon delta x also for second line L2 say this angle is theta 2 say this height is delta y2 then tan theta 2 is equal to delta y2 upon delta x similarly if we take this angle theta 3 then for this height delta y3 we have tan theta 3 is equal to delta y3 upon delta x now since delta x in all formulas is same the value of delta y1 is less than that of delta y2 and delta y2 value is less than that of delta y3 so we can say slope of line l1 is least slope of line L2 is more than L1 and the slope of line L3 is greatest. This line is the steeper line L3 hence it has slope more. So uh, when we rotate the line in anti-clockwise direction uh, from this point the slope of line increases and when line becomes almost vertical like this then value of delta x is extremely small and value of delta y is very high then at that time the value of slope tan theta approaches to infinity so from this we conclude that vertical line has slope infinity this is the symbol of infinity this means very high value okay now find slope of a line which passes through points two comma three and three comma four on coordinate axis now say points are p two three and q three four then by formula slope is m is equal to tan theta is equal to difference of y coordinate that is four minus three 
upon difference of x coordinate that is 3 minus 2. Now this slope is 1. Now tan theta is equal to 1. In fact 1 is what? Slope of the line. By comparing tan theta to 1 we get value of theta is equal to 45 degree. We know that tan 45 degree is equal to 1. Then from this we get the data that line is making what angle with positive direction of x axis? 45 degree. Okay. Now find slope of line joining points minus 3 comma 2 and 2 comma 1. Now here slope m is equal to tan theta that is difference of y coordinate 2 minus 1 and difference of x coordinate that is minus 3 minus 2 then slope is minus 1 upon 5. Now here we are getting slope negative. Let's see this on graph paper. Now uh, these are points uh, minus 3 comma 2 and 2 comma 1. We are joining these two points and we are getting slope for this line minus 1 upon 5. Now here we can see that the angle of this straight line with positive direction of x axis is obtuse and we are getting slope negative. So in fact when line makes obtuse angle with positive direction of x axis we always get slope uh, negative and when line makes acute angle with positive x axis we get slope positive. Now let's see slope of line which is given by equation ax plus by plus c is equal to 0. We know that this is linear equation which has graph straight line. Now to get slope we require two points on straight line. Let's select two points by once taking the value of x 0. Now when the value of x is 0 in this equation we get value of y minus c upon b. For other point take y is equal to 0. Hence from this we get value of x is equal to minus c upon a. Now slope of straight line m is equal to difference of y coordinate upon difference of x coordinate and this simplifies to minus a upon b. Here a is coefficient of x and b is coefficient of y. So this is formula for finding slope of line ax plus by plus c is equal to 0. For example find slope of line 2x minus y plus 3 is equal to 0. Here coefficient of x a is equal to 2 and coefficient of y b is equal to minus 1. Then slope of line m is equal to minus a upon b that is minus 2 upon minus 1 that is 2. Here uh, slope is positive then, li then line makes what angle with positive direction of x axis? Acute or obtuse? Obviously acute angle because slope is positive. Consider line x plus 3y minus 2 is equal to 0. Here value of a is 1, value of b is 3. Then slope is minus a upon b that is minus 1 upon 3. Now this value is negative then line makes obtuse angle with positive direction of x 